Hi there guys, this is The Average Joe and uh, today we'll, we'll have to do a little bit of a different video. Uh, today I had to fly across country for work, so um, because I had to fly I couldn't bring a double-edged razor or a safety razor, so um, I had to buy a disposable razor. For this occasion, I've bought this Astor Big two-blade disposable razor. And uh, as you can imagine, I'm going to see how this feels on my face. But before we start the review, I have to prepare my lather. So while I while I prepare my lather. Um, why don't you take the time for, uh, to subscribe my channel and uh, hit that little bell button, okay? I'll be okay, right back. back. I have my ladder ready. Hope you had enough time to hit that subscribe button. If not, you still have enough time. Um, so, with this uh, Aster Big Razor, we're going to use a uh, Arcomen Cool Cream. Um, even before I start uh, shaving with this razor, what I can tell you is that it has no weight to it. It feels very plasticky and cheaply made. Um, the handle is empty on the inside, so there's absolutely no way to do this razor. One thing I have to be honest with you before we start the review, I really don't like multi-blade razors and uh, unfortunately this one has two blades. So it's going to be on the uh, dark side for me. Now I'm going to lather up and uh, have uh, have my first pass. So um, stay with me and we'll see after that what my opinion is on this razor. Okay guys, so I have finished my first pass and from what I can tell you is first of all I don't like the fact that this razor has no weight to it because you have to put pressure on your face for it to cut your hair. On the other side these two blades are pretty sharp. Pretty sharp, really. So they they succeeded in cutting my facial hair quite quite uh, good. One other thing I really dislike about these multi-blade razors is the fact that they get clogged in between the second, the first and second blade. They get clogged. Uh, I've tried to clean this blade, this razor, for about five minutes now, and there's still something left in there, which is affecting the way it cuts and the way it feels on the face. On the other side, this really doesn't feel too bad for a 30 cent. 40 cent razor. It's cheap and 
you get what you pay for everything now I'm going to ladder up again to my second pass and uh, tell you my full opinion at the end This was my second pass and uh, from the beginning I'm going to tell you that I have very mixed feelings about this razor. First of all, I don't know if it's me, if I am faulty here, but I really don't seem to be able to get the schmoo from in between the two blades. It's stuck in there. Maybe those of you that use uh, cartridge razors, multiple blade razors, know a way of getting that schmoo out. Not just rinsing it, rinsing the razor with water. If you do, please leave a comment below because I'm very curious about this. I have to admit, I don't know how to do it. So, nah. Uh, Okay, as I've said before, this has no way to it, so uh, you have to really push it on your face to be able to, to shave with it. And I believe that's going to lead to some irritation. Hope it's not, but I guess it's going to be. Um, another thing is after it get, gets full of schmoo, it doesn't cut that good. At the beginning, it cuts very well. I was impressed with it, but after you get the space between the two blades filled with your hair and your cream, and they all get stuck in there, it doesn't seem to cut that well. Um, for what it is, a disposable razor, Mm, it's okay, I believe. One thing I like about it is the fact that airport security doesn't even glance over it. They don't give it a second look, They nothing like that. They just pass over it. Uh, which, unfortunately, after the terrorist attacks we had in Europe, uh, getting a double A blade through security mm, very questionable if you do it <laughs> you will, if even if you try to do it you're going to get a lot of questions if you insist on doing it uh, that's not going to end very well couple few years ago no problem now you have to go cartridge or disposable when flying or buy blades from where you're landing, but if you stay for one night like I'm going to stay, that has no sense in it. Another thing I don't like about this, about any disposable razor, is that it ends up in the landfill. Once you've thrown it, it's garbage and it's bad for the environment. You think, okay, it's just a little plasticky thing with some metal, how bad can it be? Okay, people throw let's say a million of this every day that's bad that's bad so for a disposable razor if you have to fly and something like that I guess it's okay for a consistent wave shaving I don't think it's okay my opinion if you like it please tell me why you like it and leave a comment below so, if you like my video, please give it a like and uh, share it. And um, what can I say? Subscribe to my channel. Uh, I can't wait to have you watching my next videos.
bye bye.